say, look at the traffic here, you nearly fall over. So basically, if you be nice here, you'll never cross the street. In the border school, those who are smart, they call them head boy. In the field of infrastructure, the Chinese are maverick, the head boy of all, anything fast. The Chinese has mastered the art of building mega infrastructure and they've done it countless times. Mega projects springing out from different angles and the Belting Road in the shave will connect the world like never before. <laughs> Indonesia will soon drain the crew of those who have an ice speed rail, like the French, the Japanese and of course the Chinese. And in fact the Chinese are pinnacle to the construction of the new ice speed rail. Cost, 7.2 billion dollars. Mad, I mean insane. But this would change the way people commute in Indonesia. Carbon efficient, quick, money is time, and it will reduce the heavy, heavy, notoriously heavy traffic across Java, or let's say Indonesia. A place, a country I'm so fascinated by. Looking on the outside here in London, I'm excited. I mean, excited for this new project. Now, give him all the support of the new ISP rail that is soon to be launched in August, Independence Day. These are Americans that are traveling here, they're from New York, all of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro yeah. Brooklyn. Yeah. Brooklyn, yeah. Wow, hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the now, th 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 there you go. So like, no, so the thing, it's like, you can be totally honest, right? So yeah, that's right. the most important thing. So what do you think of London? I like it. It's very I slow like here. It. Yeah? No, it's, it's not slow. It's, I it, think it is. Compared it, to New York? It's still, it's fast, but it's, people are not so much in a hurry. You see yeah. people moving, it's not yeah. a, we're yeah, not in a, so we're not in a country. So New has that fast pace. It doesn't, yeah. it's chill. The Bronx. They always forget about the Bronx. So which one is your favorite then? Harlem is under Brooklyn. Uh, Harlem? That's Brooklyn. it. Brooklyn. Please don't get the money. No, Brooklyn please. get the money, just remember that. Please. <laughs> Call this the game changer, the long awaiting high speed rail in Indonesia was soon coming to action. Yeah, action. It's like playing game. Do you understand? I think this is going to change the infrastructure in the country. It's going to make Indonesia richer, you know, much better. You as a traveler, I think it's going to be a joy for you, right? So come in August, of course, they push it back. You know, um, when I was looking and reading through on the, let's say, from the start of the project, it's a mega project, absolutely. And it looks like they've been postponing like when the line will be you know, in full operation. And uh, yeah, for now, uh, it looks like it's concrete, it's guaranteed by August on Independence Day. What a better day. You know what, whoever I thought of um, <laughs> that time to like to open Indonesia first by ice rail, Wherever you are in the government, right? You're a legend. You're smart. I know for sure Indonesians, they're gonna love it, man. Indonesians, when it comes towards their country, their Independence Day, they don't joke about it, right? They're very patriotic, they love the land. You know, that is fantastic um, thought process, and I think that is brilliant. So for someone who's been to Indonesia, and I've seen um, several, like, um, it's a train across um, from cities, to the next cities in Java, I tell you what, this is going to change the way people commute, right? You know, the high speed rail, it's a, let's say it's a phenomenal that has, that has stunned the world in so many ways, you know? Like the Chinese are experts when it comes to this game. You know, like some certain countries, they're quite good at certain things, like the UK, we're very good at, you know, talking, we talk too much, you know? We hype a lot of players, football. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, the Premier League. A lot of people, I'm pretty sure if you're in Indonesia, you love the English Premier League, right? That's for Indonesia. They, have so, they love so many things, basically, when it comes to food. What's for the Chinese, when it comes to technology and infrastructure, they're by far, let's say, the legend. They know what they're doing, you understand? 
So, Ice Spiro in China, it's by far one of the things that is, uh, I'm looking forward to, to go and see. Uh, the way they've designed the countries, many, many cities are just top class more than, you know what I mean, like uh, most Western countries just can't compete. It feels like they're lacking behind. So, the Ice Bureau in Indonesia is also in collaboration with China Belt and Road Initiative. Um, that project is a mega project to connect the likes of Asia, Africa, Europe. And um, if China completes all of that, right, let's say in the next, let's say, 40 to 50 years from now, China can easily be, will easily be the, the superpower of the world. Absolutely, you understand? So this is surely something that will change the way a lot of Indonesian commutes. You know, from a time in Indonesia, the one thing I, I notice on the flesh on the first glance, right, is the traffic. The traffic, especially in, in the capital city of Jakarta, it's not brilliant. Uh, I've, got, I've got to be honest, man. It is mad, it's me, but I love it. I like, you know, I like chaos, you know. I don't like things to be too perfect. You know what I mean? I think that's the reason why I like Indonesia. They have some district that is just mega. The, you know what I mean? Like the CBD and district is just spectacular, you know. And then when you turn to some side streets, you just see something completely opposite, right? Where the locals leave and, you know, I like the mixture of things, it's so dynamic. And that's the one thing I like about Indonesia. It's very dynamic. It can be rough, it can be glamorous, and it can be spectacular, right? And it's fantastic. So the traffic in, in Jakarta, I think Jakarta could easily be one of the the worst city when it comes to traffic to move around it takes time to move from one place to the other i think the best way if you want to navigate and get to see things and do your business one time then surely you have to you have to jump on a gojek so gojek is like um a, a guy on a bike working for a company called gojek you know so you jump on it they'll give you a ride and yeah it can be a little bit scary if you never be on a on a motorbike before so surely it can be terrifying but other than that man i think um it's it's all right it's quite enjoyable as well like it's not as bad so with all this traffic yeah it's always amazed me and there's no road rage at all no one is cussing or swearing or whatsoever it's sublime just wear your helmet and then it will take you places and it's quite affordable as well i think that's the only, the only way you can move around the city if you have a car it takes some time it's a lot of traffic you know and uh yeah that can and that can you know what i mean slow down business if you're a business person you know time is money if you're a businessman or businesswoman so time is money it's essence like whatever thing you're doing you want to get it done asap say for instance like if you have an organization right and um you're getting your business you're closing deals surely like that can that can increase your chance of expanding hire more people and then that can result to the country of course whether it be the local economy or the national economy like to to perform well because if more people at work you know that is going to be good for the, the employer and of course the employee as well and of course in general that's going to be good for the country oh that makes sense you know just want to make it more Oh boy, it's wind, here we go. You know, the Chinese are splendid. You know, if it wasn't for my trip, let's say my move to China, so in the next two months, hopefully, if I got all my paperwork on time this time around, I was supposed to be there in February, but you know, it's what it is. Something, you know, sometimes something doesn't go as planned, but it's all right. Sometimes, it, maybe it happened for a reason. So that's the thing, I don't, I don't get too fast about it, you know. But yeah, this time I feel like um, I got the feeling it will happen and uh, I'll get my documents just in time, you know. And if it wasn't for that, I would have easily booked my ticket back to Asia, go and explore the likes of Sumatra, of course Java again. There's so many places I haven't been to. The one thing I like about Indonesia is, compared to all the other countries I've been to, is the connection I have with that country. Yes, I've got a spe spectacular affinity with countries like Indonesia, um, Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, love those countries, right? But Indonesia has a different spark to it. And that's the thing I like about that country, right? Because I, whenever I'm there, it's much easier for me to make friends with local Indonesians. I have my first best friend, is basically from Asia, is based in Bandung, Indonesia. So I'll get to Bandung, right? 
but spectacular people love their energy just love the vibe they're genuine right and that's the thing i just love that they're just genuine they're, they're inviting you to the home i don't normally get invited you know it's about indonesia and they normally invite me man i've, I've just some time of course when i was in indonesia you know off camera some people invite me to sit next to me. This was like come sit next to me why they would just want to know where I'm from and then of course and they'll they'll feed me for free and they'll just make me feel happy and we're just cracking jokes and I love I love that energy and that's the one thing whenever I'm in in Indonesia the last time I was there I love it man I spent so much time there the likes of Java explore all the way make my way to Bali spectacular I just love this people man I need to find a wife from Indonesia <laughs> Anyways, Compose, I'm talking about transportation, right? I'm talking about infrastructure. I'm talking about high speed rail. You know, so yeah, spectacular people. But sadly, I have to wait. But when I get to China, it will be much easier for me to go to um, Indonesia because it's very close by. It's a neighboring country, it's not too far. Maybe not a neighboring country, but it's not too far. You know, from China to Indonesia, it's, it's really cool. It'll work out fine. So I think um, when you're patient, a good thing will come to you, right? So what I'll say is like, the ice be you know, I've been on various like train, I've took various train when I was in, in Indonesia, especially the notable one, you know, from Jakarta to Bandung, you know, and that train I took was very old, let's put it this way, very classical, but the same, at the same time, I kind of like it, it's got that little charm to it, you know, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty decent, I'm going to like it, yeah, it's pretty cheap as well. You know, and uh, what I'll say is like it's, it is slow though, it is slow. And uh, but the high speed rail, when it comes to full operation, I think it will, it will only take around 40 minutes from Jakarta to to Bandung, right? Bandung is a spectacular city, another famous city, right? I think it's a student like city. Um, there's a lot going on there, it's a lot of university and it's a lot of good food and a lot of um, agriculture sort of thing happening there. I think it's a, it's a splendid place I would highly recommend to anyone who's thinking to go to such a place. On, I, I really love Indonesia, um, Bandung, right? The one thing I like about it, I like the climate. And then again, I got sunburn, you know, because I was changing from climate from Jakarta to Bandung. If you watch, go and watch the series, right? From Bandung, I got sunburn. Whoever say black don't crack, you're lying. Black do crack. I got crack. I'm approved. I, got, I will testify. You understand? So be cautious. Always have an, a sun cream review. My mate, um, Jacka, uh, when I showed him a picture, right? I took a picture back then and I, sh I showed him, I said, mate, I might gain some disease or something. And he was like, no, no, you're getting sunburn. That's the, that was the first time I got sunburn ever. First time ever in Indonesia. So the climate is different. It can be hot. But then again, it can get cold, so you have to be cautious, right? So if you're going there, you know, so that's the little thing there. So uh, that, 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 that phrase, like black don't crack, I do crack, I, did, I, I was, I, I cracked, I cracked, boy, I cracked. You understand the cost, it's, it's now set on 7.2 billion. It was estimated just around like, let's say, 5.5 billion dollars, right, American dollars. And then, but now that's exceeded due to so many like, um, unexpected cost you know yeah it's not cheap right but it looks like the government is thinking ahead not for five years um, plan but they're thinking ahead for the next 10 years investment like this surely will benefit the country you know of course and china's going to get a car you know let's wait if i'm in china they know how to do business they're absolutely intelligent people when it comes to doing business right so for some we're going to be like oh this maybe indonesia is playing it's falling into the trap of the chinese debt Trust me, for someone who have been to Indonesia, it's a smart, it's a smart thing because like people commute, people travel all the time, right? So surely it's a great, it's a great line, it's a great like construction, right? It's very good strategic thinking, right? From Jakarta to Bandung, those are the two most popular cities, right? And um, from then, from Bandung to Yogyakarta, it's not too far, you know. So basically, this will open so many doors of opportunities for the Indonesian economy there. So sh I'm, I'm pretty sure this is a good investment. So in August, I can't wait and hopefully um, I will have the chance like to, to go and see it. But unfortunately in August, that's when I'm due to leave the UK as well to start my new job in China. So hopefully in December, that's when I'll have my trip. And I'll have a, let's say holiday to, to see other places. And of course I'll explain China as well. And then I'll plan my trip properly to maybe to Sumatra and Bonia, maybe one month trip. But I want to meet more people. So if you're Indonesian 
on you want to be friends with me so of course and reach out to me on instagram you know so i think um i'll be more than happy if you would like to host me i think that will make the video even more fun and i would like i want to invest on proper good equipment i've got a nice camera now so surely i want to create some of the best video you've never seen before when i get to indonesia the next time <laughs>